Bonjour! Comment ça va? Hey friends, how are you? I'm glad that you're back with me once more. We've got a really, really terrific lesson lined up for today. It's all about um, ways to show possession, which is super easy. And then we're going to make the bridge to a very useful expression, one that you've probably heard before, but maybe aren't uh, quite familiar with all the details that go along with it. So without any further ado, let's talk about how um, we discuss possession using what we call possessive adjectives, which are mine, uh, my, your, hers, his, etc., etc. So, the very easiest thing we're going to do is uh, talk about our place of residence. Like, ma maison, ma maison. Maison is house, and you house is a uh, feminine ad, excuse me, a feminine noun, so we have to use the feminine adjective, in this case, which is ma, M-A. Um, if you lived in an apartment, uh, apartment is masculine, so you would say mon, mon appartement, as opposed to ma maison. So you have ma and mon, which are the two ways of saying my. Well, what about yours? Informally, we would say ta maison, ta maison, or ton appartement, ton appartement. J'aime ton appartement. C'est joli. I like your apartment. It's pretty. J'aime ma maison. J'aime ma maison. I like my house. Um, if you wanted to be formal, j'aime votre maison. J'aime votre maison. Votre does not have a masculine or feminine form. It's just, um, it just is. Uh, so that makes it really easy. So j'aime votre maison. J'aime votre voiture. I like your car. J'aime votre appartement. It's the same thing. Votre, votre, votre. C'est la même chose. It's the same thing. Okay. And what about hers? It's the same as his. Mm, it's it's not too difficult. You just got to pay attention to context. So, ah, j'aime sa maison. J'aime sa maison. I like his or her house. J'aime sa maison. Elle habite dans, un, dans une jolie maison. J'aime sa maison. See that? She lives in a pretty house. I like her house. Elle habite dans une jolie maison. J'aime sa maison. Got it? Or you could just as easily say, Il habite dans une jolie maison. Il habite dans une jolie maison. J'aime sa maison. See? He lives in a pretty house. I like his house. For the two expressions, I like her house, I like his house, is going to sound exactly the same, um, but you just listen to the uh, context beforehand, and you can sort it out. Um, all right. Um, oh, what about pluralizing it? In English, we make it really simple. We just have one word for my, you know, I like my house, I like my houses. Okay, but in French, you have to pluralize the possessive adjective. So if you want to say, I like my houses, j'aime mes maisons. Mais, M-E-S, mais. And it's the same for masculine and feminine, so that makes it pretty easy. Or j'aime tes maisons. I like your houses. J'aime tes voitures. I like your cars. J'aime ta voiture, because it's feminine. J'aime tes voitures. And then, formally, j'aime votre voiture, singular, j'aime vos voitures, plural, vos, V-O-S. J'aime vos maisons, j'aime vos voitures. I like your houses, I like your cars. Got it. Pretty easy. And then, um, for his and hers, I like her houses, j'aime ses maisons, j'aime ses maisons. It's the same, S-E-S, ses, ses maisons. J'aime sa maison. I like his or her house. J'aime ses maisons. I like his or her houses. Pretty easy, right? Okay, speaking of houses, there's a really, really convenient way in French to express place of residence, and it's chez. C-H-E-Z. Chez. And you never put in uh, an article in front of it. It stands alone without an article. It's it's very bizarre like that. 
and some useful expressions like I'm going to go back to my house, I'm going to return home. Je vais rentrer chez moi. Je vais rentrer chez moi. Rentrer is to return. Now it sounds very similar to another verb that you use with chez, which is rentre. That's with a D, as opposed to rentre, which is with a T. Je vais rentre chez moi. I'm going to return um, to my home. Or je vais rentre visite, which is the full expression. Je vais rentre visite. I'm going to pay you a visit. Or render you a visit is what we're literally saying, but um, the translation is, I'm going to pay you a visit. Chez toi. Chez toi. Your home. Je vais rentre visite chez toi. Or formally, je vais rentre visite chez vous. Got it? That's a very popular expression. You should be able to comfortably use that. As, as with, uh, je vais rentre chez moi. Now, they sound so similar, you just got to be careful. They are completely different verbs um, used in similar expressions. One means to return home, and the other means to pay a visit. All right, or you could just as easily say, je vais rentre visite chez lui. Chez lui is his or her home. Chez lui. Je vais rentre visite chez lui. Again, listen for the contextual clues. J'aime. Um, elle, excuse me. Elle habite dans un joli appartement. Dans un joli appartement. Elle habite dans un joli appartement. Je vais rentre visite chez lui. Okay, so in that case, the chez lui is her home because I was talking about her home in the previous sentence. I'm acting as if this is brain surgery. You've probably already got it, so I'm not going to beat the horse dead. Um, she also comes in handy when talking about certain types of businesses, like the dentist. Je vais rentre visite chez le dentiste. Chez le dentiste. The dentist. The dentist's office, basically. Je vais chez le dentiste. Simply. Je vais chez le dentiste. Or, je vais chez le docteur. Uh, I'm going to the doctor's office. Chez le docteur. Uh, or, chez le médecin. Either one is acceptable. Chez le médecin or chez le docteur. Remember, médecin is just another word for doctor. Um, and then the last one, je vais chez le coiffeur. Coiffeur is the hairstylist or the salon. Je vais chez le coiffeur. Je vais rentre visite chez le coiffeur. I'm going to pay a visit to the hairstylists. Got it? Um, you, let's let's create an even longer expression just for the heck of it. Uh, tu veux venir avec moi? Remember venir from the last lesson? Tu veux venir avec moi? Do you want to come with me? Je vais rentre visite chez le coiffeur. Got it? Pretty easy. Um, how about this? Tu veux prendre mon voiture? Ou... Tu veux prendre ta voiture. Got that? Do you want to take my car or do you want to take your car? Let's do that whole scenario once again. Tu veux venir avec moi? Je vais prendre visite chez le coiffeur. Tu veux prendre mon voiture ou tu veux prendre ta voiture? Got it? I think that's enough for today. Uh, we covered a lot of ground in a little bit of time. Go ahead and review as much as you like. And stay tuned because I'll be posting another video within the next, uh, within the next week or so. All right. Adieu. A tout à l'heure.